Hey guys, can you say hi, Porter? Hi. <laughs> this is Porter's 18 month old update. So Porter turned 18 months old actually um, a, a couple weeks ago. Um, but I I waited to do it. But I waited to do it. He has something to say. But I waited to do this update because we I wanted to go to the doctor first and get his stats of his height and weight. And so now that we've done that, we can now do his video. You want a chip? Yeah. Okay, he wants a chip, so one second. Okay, so like I said, Porter is 18 months old now. So I'll just start with the stats first. Let me get them on my phone. Okay, so for height, Porter is 34 inches tall, which puts him in the 92nd percentile. You guys, this is just wild to me. First of all, Anthony and I are short people. I'm like 5'5", five five and Anthony's like 5'7", five 5'8". Five so we are short. Porter is so big and so tall. I mean, I'm sure it'll even out, but it is just wild. I mean, it makes sense. He's already growing out of his 18-month clothes. I can't even think about putting him in 2T clothes yet because he just got to be 18 months. But I know it's going to happen before he turns 2 because he's just so big. He is 25 pounds for his weight, which puts him in the 61st percentile. So that's even big too, which he's got this big belly, so Daddy. no wonder. And then for head circumference, he is 47.5 centimeters, which puts him in the 52nd percentile for head circumference. So pretty average for that. I think Grayson has always been like, um, had a smaller head like he's always been below the 50th percentile for head circumference So I just thought that was interesting, but all good things. He's growing awesome developing great The doctor had no concerns at his doctor's appointment, but let me just tell you a little bit about Porter So Porter is walking obviously he um, did wait to start that until after he turned one but it wasn't soon after that he started walking. He still does his little waddle walk, which is super fun to watch. I don't want him to get rid of it, but I know eventually he will walk like a normal person. Um, he is getting faster every day. He still will crawl every now and then, but mostly he is walking. He eats great. He loves milk. That is his favorite, but he also loves water. He likes it when I put a little flavoring in it. He will eat anything that Anthony and I are eating. Yeah. We call it the Porter diet because whatever yeah. you're eating, Porter will eat a lot of it. And so you really don't get to eat what you were planning on. So yeah, that's Porter's favorite thing to do is if he spies Anthony and I eating anything or really any adult, he wants what they're eating. Um, but other than that, he's, he's a pretty good eater. He um, isn't picky at all. He will eat anything I give him. He'll at least try it once, I feel like. Um, unlike Grayson, who's a little more pickier. Porter will just eat whatever. Porter's favorite things to eat are, well, he loves puffs and melts. Um, he loves ravioli. He likes pancakes. He loves bananas. Um, he loves apples. He likes down, to snack. Down. You want down? Yeah. Okay, Porter's done with the interview. Porter is more of my snacker. Grayson never really was a big snacker. Um, he would just usually just eat his meals and he'd have a snack like here and there. But with Porter, like I always have to have food out for him to eat. <laughs> he just took a blanket down because um, he's just always hungry, which I guess he's got a maintain that weight and that height i don't know but yeah he's a really great eater he poops a ton i swear usually it's like once a day but sometimes i swear it's like four or five times a day i'm like cleaning him so that can be a lot but i mean at least he's his body is working normally which is good another food that porter loves to eat this is probably his favorite snack is peanut butter. He and Grayson, but really it was Porter who started it. They love peanut butter. Porter will go to our pantry, open it up, get the jar of peanut butter, and bring it over to Anthony or I and want it. And so we have to open up, get a spoon, and he literally just wants a spoonful of peanut butter. And he will eat several spoonfuls of peanut butter. That 
as his, for sure, his favorite snack. Lately, he's gotten into Nutella, and he loves that just as well. Porter is my cuddler. He loves to snuggle and cuddle. If there's a blanket on the ground, he immediately runs over to it and he lays down and he snuggles it. If he's got stuffed animals, he'll like hold it and snuggle with it. So he's, um, he's our sensitive child. Um, if you tell him no or try to correct a behavior, he takes it very personally and will immediately just start crying and like having a meltdown. He hates being told no. <laughs> He's a little dramatic. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so he's very sensitive. He is um, shy. He's way more shy than Grayson is. He's more of like my analyzer. When we get to new places or new things, Grayson's one to just like go and jump in and just like be, do everything, play with all the toys. With Porter, when we get to new things, he's much more like attached to me and like surveying what's going on before he jumps into it. So that's um, definitely a difference I see there. He is still very attached to Anthony and I, mostly me. It has definitely gotten better since when he was 12 months old, but he's still very attached to me. Like if Anthony and I are going on a date, my parents are watching the kids, I still have to sneak out um, and go in the car without him seeing me because if he sees me, then he just ends up crying for like 20 minutes straight um, until they can distract him with something else. So um, he's still very attached to me, but it's not as bad as it was. I took him to Anthony's parents um, last week and, because we went on vacation and they were gonna watch the kids for us and I was really worried about how I was gonna be able to separate myself from Porter, but he must have remembered Anthony's parents' house and his parents and it felt fine because I put him down, he went right to the trains and was playing with them. So that went way better than I thought it would. So he's definitely making strides, but he definitely prefers to be like right next to me and right next to Anthony. Porter is my mischievous one. He is so into making messes right now. Every time I turn around, there's another mess. Whether it's taking books off the bookshelf and throwing them on the floor, whether it's his personal favorite, taking the container of puffs and dumping it out over and over again all over the carpet. Whether it's taking crayons and drawing on the walls or <laughs> or he loves to get into my pots and pans underneath the oven and he just throws them everywhere, makes a huge mess. He is definitely in that messy stage right now of just wanting to get into everything. So yes, he's always making messes. I'm always having to um, watch where he goes because he gets into all sorts of mischief. He, another favorite mess he likes to make is he likes to go in the bathroom and unroll the toilet paper and have it just all over the floor. Thank you. Thank you. Porter is talking so much. I swear he's learning like a new word a day. Right, right now he loves um, colors. Thank you. Thank you. Can you say yellow? Yellow. Can you say blue? Blue. Can you say mama? Mama. Dada? Yeah. Can you say dada? Dada. Can you say uh-oh? Uh-oh. Can you say gray gray? Gray gray. Can you say... Gray <laughs> I don't know what that was. Can you say stop? Stop. Can you say go? Can you say two? Uh, say two. Shoe. Can you say shoe? Shoe. Can you say? Gaka. Say boo. Boo. <laughs> so he knows a ton of words. Um, right now he's focusing on colors, but really every day is just a new uh, word. I just got Nutella on my pants. So yeah, I love this age so much because they learn so many new words every day, and so that's really fun too watch. Porter loves the vacuum. Anytime I say, okay, Porter, it's time to vacuum, he gets so excited and he runs, you know exactly where it is. He runs to the closet, opens the door. He calls it like the boom boom or something. It's so cute. He loves it, loves seeing it. He likes to turn it on and off. Grayson's like scared of the vacuum because he doesn't like the loud noise, but Porter like does not care. He loves that thing. It's so funny. 
Porter also loves going outside. He is my outdoor baby. Anytime he could go outside, he wants to. He was so mad this past winter when we had to stay inside so much because it was cold outside. He just wants to be out where it's warm. And his favorite thing to do is either swing in the swing or we have a little play car that he gets into or he absolutely loves walks. He loves going in the stroller and me just pushing him and he'll just sit there and he just loves it so much. And it's so hard because Grayson would much rather just stay at home and do sidewalk talk and Porter really wants to go on walks. So it's hard to try to like balance the two different kids but we make it work. But yeah, he loves being outside. I'm so excited for this summer. It's March right now, so I'm so excited for it to get a little bit warmer outside and just go on so many adventures this summer. Porter is getting so much more mobile. He can climb things like no other. He climbs the couch, the stairs. He climbs onto Grayson's bed because it's low enough to the ground. Now when I take him up to parks, he can climb on the play equipment. He loves going there. He is a little timid. Um, he doesn't like to go down slides by himself. I have to go with him and if we get to like a bridge That's like kind of curved and like yes kind of go up a hill a little He likes to have me with him because he's a little timid about it um, but he Loves being able to have more mobility and more independence for sure. Porter loves chasing Grayson all around the house. Anything that Grayson does, Porter wants to do too. We'll play hide and seek and Grayson and I will be playing and Porter just follows along, not really understanding what's going on but just wanting to be a part of it. Or Grayson will be jumping on his bed and Porter will get up and try to jump. He doesn't really understand how to do it, but he'll just like move up and down. It's really cute. Um, we are starting to get into a little bit of like sharing issues. Grayson will be playing with a toy and Porter will want to play with it too. So we're working on that. Um, it's a good lesson for them to learn, so I'm glad that that they have each other and that they need then that they are learning about sharing. Um, but yeah, it's really cute to see Porter um, follow Grayson around. Grayson does beat him up a little bit, but Porter is getting bigger and bigger. He's starting to hold his own now a little bit. And so he'll attack Grayson and wrestle with him here and there. And he's getting bigger and better, so it's really cute. When Porter was little, he used to be so scared of Anthony picking him up and like throwing him on the bed or spinning him or holding him upside down. He hated all of that. Just in like the past like month or so, he has absolutely loved all those things. Not so much the throwing on the bed, but Anthony will hold him and he will start leaning over, like tip me over and he'll say, to go. And he wants Anthony to, turn him so he's holding him by his feet and he's upside down. He loves, he gets the biggest smile on his face. He loves being held upside down. It is so funny how it's completely changed. He's getting a little more adventurous, a little more like a daredevil. It's really cute. <laughs> Porter is a little bit stubborn. I've been trying to get him off of the bottle. I know you're supposed to stop at 12 months. I had a hard time getting Grayson off the bottle as well. Um, and I've been trying to get him onto sippy cups. I can get him to drink water out of sippy cups, but he refuses to drink milk out of anything but his bottle. So I'm really working on trying to transition him to a sippy cup full time, but he does love that bottle. He loves milk, just like Grayson. I wouldn't say he drinks as much milk as Grayson did because Grayson was like obsessed with milk. He's gotten so much better. But Porter really does like his milk so um, that is one of his beverages of choice for sure. Porter sleeps great. He sleeps through the night finally. That took a while to get him to that point. Um, and he takes one nap a day um, and he, it really just kind of depends how he is. He's just like Grayson. If I put him down and he poops he will not take a nap. And so that's been happening. He has been protesting his naps. It'll probably be like once a month that happens. Otherwise, he's usually pretty good about it. Um, and then he usually sleeps about like two, two-ish hours. So it's pretty good. He is in size three diapers, but we're just getting through the rest of our size three. And then I'm pushing him up to size four diapers because I put his diapers on him and there's always like one butt cheek hanging out of the diaper. So I'm like, okay, we need to size you up. So we're doing that. He is in 18 month clothes for now, but we'll probably have to move him up to 2T, not too much longer, um, because he is just so tall, it's crazy. 
Porter loves cats. <laughs> he likes animals. Dogs are okay. Um, they kind of overwhelm him a lot. A lot of the dogs that my siblings and my parents have, they just like to give him a lot of kisses and he just likes his face. So he's always like pushing the dogs away. He's so sassy. But cats, he loves cats. So we have a cat named Felix and he will just chase Felix all around the house. The whole time he's walking after him, he's saying, meow, meow. <laughs> Meow, it's so funny. Poor Felix, he's like harassed. It's hilarious. And then my sister Allison, she has a cat too named Lincoln. And anytime we go over to her house, Porter immediately has to find the cat, which you, Allison's cat isn't as friendly as Felix, or he's probably smarter than Felix because he knows to hide from the kids. And so he's usually hiding under the bed. And so he goes and he tries to find him and he's looking under the bed and he just loves cats. It's so funny, but yeah, he's definitely getting more into um, animal noises. He, he's learning that. Um, he's learning songs. He's starting to understand the alphabet. Um, he always starts with A and uh, he tries to say that. Now, next time, won't you sing with me? So he's trying to get there uh, with the very limited vocabulary that he has right now but he loves songs he likes songs with hand movements so itsy bitsy spider wheels on the bus um things like that he likes old mcdonald because you say the animal noises in it so he likes that too porter still hates getting changed it's still like I'm wrestling an alligator trying to change his diaper or even getting clothes on him. I can always get a shirt on him because that's easy, but to get pants on him is just so, so hard. He also still hates the car. Um, he's gotten better, but he still just really doesn't like it. I'm hoping once he turns two and I can flip him around to face forward that that will make it easier and he will like the car more, but as of right now, he just still hates hates the car. Porter loves watching TV shows. <laughs> He's so cute. Whenever he wants to watch a, a TV show, he'll walk around and he'll go, Xiao, Xiao. <laughs> it's so funny. He's so sassy and uh, he wants to watch shows a lot. Uh, so we have to limit that with him um, and poor Porter he basically has to watch whatever Grayson wants so it's a lot of ABC shows on YouTube um, so I guess that's probably why he's learning the ABC song so well um, but he does speak up if, if Gray puts a show on and Porter doesn't like it he'll go no and he'll take the remote and hand it to me which means change it to a different one so he does have a little bit of an opinion there but yeah he loves watching shows he asks for it all the time. I think that's about it for Porter. I know this video was kind of long. I ended up putting him down for a nap so he's not here with me to close out this vlog. Um, I was trying to find a time where Porter was awake and Grayson wasn't and that's kind of hard to do because they're kind of on the same schedule. So I guess I'll just close this out by myself but thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions that I didn't answer let me know down in the comments below. I can't wait till he gets a little bit older to Grayson's age where I can do the interview and like ask him all the questions. Um, Grayson's gonna turn four in less than a month and so I'm so excited to do that video with him but soon enough I'll be able to do that with Porter too but that is a snapshot of Porter at 18 months old of course in all my vlogs you can just see his personality and just how cute he is and um, he brings us so much laughter and we love him so much and he definitely keeps life busy and interesting, that is for sure, with his little mischievous chaos that he brings. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.